What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. Our 2020 college football predictions continue with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Had a disappointing season last year by Alabama standards. Still a great year. Uh, and you look ahead to this season without Tua Tungavailoa. What will happen with Alabama? They have a much tougher schedule than they've had in recent years. Uh, so with the losses that they had, the tougher schedule, there is you know reason to think that this team might take a little bit of a step back even this season, and it's possible. I'll give you my thoughts quickly on this team, and then we'll go through the schedule. But I think offensively, this team will be nowhere near as explosive as they have been the last couple of years without Tua, without Jerry Judy, without Henry Ruggs. I mean, you, you can't replace those guys. They're going to, in my opinion, not be as explosive offensively, but they'll still be really good offensively. Don't get me wrong. Defensively, though, I think that's where this team improves. Uh, you have maybe the best group of linebackers in the country coming back. Had a couple of guys injured last year. Dylan Moses, uh, most notably. Defensive line is going to be strong. A little bit young in the secondary, but I think the way they recruit, they'll be okay there. I think you're going to see more of a traditional Alabama defense that we've seen in years past. Here's what some of the other predictions are out there for this team the fbi has them going 10.9 in 1.7 that would include a potential conference championship game so around 11 and 1 maybe even 10 and 2 and then winning in the winning the sec you know however you want to look at it around 11 and 11 and 1 is, is what they're predicting uh, vegas has their over under at 10.5 that means you have to either go over 10 and a half or under 10 and a half so 10 or less or 11 or more wins I think there might be some value there in going over because, you know, Alabama going 10-2, and two, that's that's pretty unlikely, even though the schedule is tougher this year. Uh, but it could definitely happen. Again, there are several potential losses. And then Athlon Sports, they've got them at 11-1, and one, and they also have them winning the SEC and I think making it to the national championship. So here is the schedule for Alabama. They open up on September 5th against USC. That is going to be a, a closer game than I think a lot of people are expecting. USC is going to have an offense. They're going to have one of the top offenses in the country this season. And especially through the air, they are going to be very, very dangerous. A young secondary for Alabama, I think, is going to have some trouble with that. I think USC scores points in this game, but their defense still is not quite where it needs to be. I think Alabama's offense has a pretty big day. They're able to run the football basically at will. Uh, and I think that they will grind away and win this game. I think it'll be, again, a pretty close game. Maybe not a one-possession game, but it will be close at halftime and finish up as maybe a 10- or 14-point win for the Crimson Tide. So I've got them winning that game and then beating Georgia State, starting the season off 2-0. Georgia comes to town on September 19th. Really looking forward to this game. You don't see Alabama and Georgia in the regular season very often, and I think it's going to be a great game this year. I think that Jamie Newman taking over for Georgia is really going to help them in the long run. They're going to be more explosive offensively, but they had a lot of losses on the offensive line, and it's only going to be the third game for him with these receivers and this offense. I think Georgia still doesn't quite have it together at this point. I think Alabama at home takes care of business. They win this game. I don't think it's a, a nail biter. I think it's pretty close. But yeah, I think Alabama takes care of business and, and wins this game by a couple of possessions uh, as Georgia maybe is just not quite ready for this game. But maybe they meet again. We'll see. Ole Miss on October the 3rd. Before that, they play Kent State. We'll give them a win there. Ole Miss on October the 3rd. This could be a tricky game for Alabama. Uh, they've had some trouble with the Ole Miss in the past. Lane Kiffin taking over, and he knows this Alabama team. He knows Nick Saban very well. Uh, this could be a closer game than the experts expect. John Rice Plumley had a big day against Alabama's defense last year. Uh, he had a big day against a lot of defenses. But I think Ole Miss is able to put some pressure on Alabama, make this game a four-quarter game. But I think that Alabama's defense rises up. They get a big stop late in the game. And that is what wins it for them. So I expect a close win for Alabama over Ole Miss in this game to go to 5-0. and oh. Arkansas is up next on October the 10th. Uh, this, I don't think, will be too big of a challenge. Arkansas, they're, they're still in rebuilding mode. Uh, they've got a long ways to go. The game is on the road. It's not really in a, in a difficult spot for Alabama. It's not like it's sandwiched in between two games. I think... You see this in the past with Nick Saban. His team will struggle, and I think they do struggle a little bit against Ole Miss. 
and then the next week they come out and obliterate their opponent. I think that's what happens here. I think they beat Arkansas big, and they win this game by you know 30, 40 points and really send a statement. Even though they're still undefeated at this point, they're saying, look, we might have struggled a little bit against Ole Miss, but we're still one of the top teams in the country, maybe the top team in the country. But Mississippi State is next on October 17th, and I think that continues. I think the, the what you saw against Arkansas continues against Mississippi State. The defense really starts to, to get it together uh, by this point in the season. I know they are going to be young in the secondary, but I think by this point you're already six games in. Those guys are veterans. They go out and they shut down that air raid offense of Mike Leach. The offense has a big day, and at home, they win big. I expect back-to-back -back big wins here, Arkansas and Mississippi State, right there in the middle of the season to get this Alabama team up to 7-0. and All right, Tennessee up next on October 24th. Remember last year, Tennessee actually, especially defensively, played Alabama pretty tough. Uh, this game is in Knoxville. It's going to be a difficult game for Alabama, in my opinion. They do have a bye week the next week before playing LSU, so I don't think you have to worry about them looking ahead or anything. Uh, I think that it's it's one of those grinded out type games, a little bit more low scoring, but I think Alabama is just too talented. I, I think Tennessee struggles offensively big time. Like I said, I think Alabama's defense has really hit its stride at this point. I think Tennessee struggles to score points. Alabama maybe struggles a little bit offensively as well, but they do enough to win this game. I think it'll be one of those games that's maybe like 27 to 10 or something like that you know it, it's kind of stays close and then Alabama uh, gets a couple of touchdowns in the second half to kind of pull away a little bit okay so they win that game and then there's the big game against LSU we did LSU already so if you watch that video you already saw our prediction for this game I think it's going to be a great game I think it'll be a four quarter game but I think Alabama comes up with the win here in Death Valley I think that their defense like I said will really be playing well by this point I expect them to be very motivated after the loss to LSU last season. I think they, they get after Miles Brennan. He's He may be great this year, but I don't think he's going to be able to do what Joe Burrow did. I think they get after him. They force a big turnover late in the game, and that gets them the win. I expect him to go into Baton Rouge, beat LSU in a close game, but that win right there will get them to 9-0, and and then I went over UT Martin gets this team to 10-0. All right, so Texas A&M coming up next on November 21st. Uh, the Aggies are going to be pretty good this year, it looks like. They have a lot coming back. If this game was on the road for Alabama, I might just pick an upset here because I think Texas A&M is going to be capable of playing with Alabama for sure. But playing in Tuscaloosa, I think Alabama takes care of business. It's a pretty close game, another one of those 10 to 14 point wins. But Alabama is just too good. Their defense, again, I think is going to be really, really good uh, in the second half of the season. I think they get this win over Texas A&M and move to 11-0 before playing Auburn on November 28th, final game of the season, final regular season game. Uh, this game is at home for Alabama. I think the revenge factor is going to be big. I think they're ready for this game. Uh, I think the defense will, again, play really, really well. I think they pretty much shut down the Auburn offense. And I think Alabama actually wins this game big. I think it will be, you know, it's the Iron Bowl. It's always close. I don't mean they're going to win by 40, but I don't think it'll be a, a down-to-the-wire one-possession type game. I think Alabama wins this one by, you know, maybe 17 points. Never really any doubt on who is going to win this game. Playing at home again, Alabama gets the win and moves to 12-0. and And if you don't know, if you haven't followed the channel, I'm actually an Auburn fan, so it, it pains me a little bit to make that prediction, but... Uh, we keep it unbiased here, and I do have Alabama going 12-0. and And again, I think Auburn's actually one of their easier games when you look at, at the bigger games on the schedule as they, they are really motivated. It, they're always motivated. Of course, it's the Iron Bowl, but the way last year's game went, uh, I think they get the win there uh, and win pretty comfortably. Again, their defense, I think, will be the story. I think they pretty much shut down Auburn. I think they shut down a lot of teams, like I said, late in the season. I expect this defense to be uh, maybe the best defense in the country or, or top five defense in the country uh, by season's end. Maybe they don't start that way. Again, I think they struggle a little bit against like USC and Ole Miss, but I think some of those young guys get going and this becomes a dominant defense like we've seen in the past. The offense does enough. And while I don't see them blowing everyone out like they do a lot of years because the schedule is tougher, I do think they go undefeated. I think they have closer games than we usually see from Alabama. 
Uh, usually, you know, they're going to have one or two games that might be close, and they blow everyone else out. I think there are closer games this year for them. Uh, they're going to be more battle-tested, which may help them if they ultimately make it to the college football playoff. It's not like they've just had an easy season and been able to steamroll everyone. Again, I think they're challenged a little bit more, but they still find ways to win. Sometimes a more difficult schedule can motivate you more in the offseason, and I think that is, is the case here for Alabama. And they close it out. Again, 12-0. and 0. What do all of you think about Alabama? Let me know down in the comments below. I know some people think that with Tua gone, this, this dynasty, this program is about to collapse. And they, they did lose a lot of talent. And with a difficult schedule, this would be the year. I mean, if they were going to really collapse, this would be the year with their schedule and with no Tua Tungavailoa. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think Nick Saban is still too good of a coach to let that happen. And they find a way to once again have a great season and go 12 and 0. Again, your predictions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.